thingy again. And yeah, it's an elf opening. And that's okay, because it's really bittersweet. This time, how the order is shared with my sister. One, I'm trying to get rid of all the points I have. And the rewards for them are all things I have already. But she doesn't, so, you know, let's help her out. Um, and I'm sending her a video for it because she happens to be on vacation with her husband, with other kids. So I don't want to disturb her in any way. I just want her to have fun. She's meeting up with friends. You know, it's good for her. So, again, if she's the only person that actually watches this video, I'm happy. That's all that matters. Um, first, a few things. I cleaned my brushes last night. And I managed to lose, like, one of these big blue ones. I'm, I looked, but I haven't, like, looked, looked, looked. But how do you miss the... Look. And my house ain't even that big. But you're talking about me here, okay? And the second thing is that these glitter from NYX... You can see that I've tried to use them before, right? I finally figured it out. And I got a little bit on, and I love it. I'm living it. I love it. I finally figured out how to use them. I'm super happy because glitter glue, it doesn't work. It's not for glitter. Well, not in my case anyway. However, I do love glitter glue. And I'll quickly go there since I, it is e.l.f. and I'm talking about e.l.f. I always use glitter glue instead of like wetting my brush. Because if you wet your brush and then you go into your eyeshadow, it tends to cake it up and mess it all up, whatever. You don't have to. If you put glitter glue first, it is the exact same thing. Most of you have a really loose pigment. Alright, enough about that. Let's get to the cool stuff. And I do have a few other items that here that I've had before because I'm replacing some or adding some. And some of the things I already had in different colors because they were specifically what she was looking for, but different colors. Let's have some fun. <clears throat> so, we have a box full of things, okay? It's a pretty big box. $28. I'm not kidding. And again, all those people that say I have a million dollars worth of makeup. No, it's not a million dollars worth of it. Um, but you can get a lot with e.l.f., okay? Because here's a little secret. There's gonna be another sale. I have enough points that I get, you know, advanced look at all the sales, so Anybody that's looking into possibly making an e.l.f. order, you know, let me know. I'll give you a code for $5 off. I don't care about the points. I don't want them. I don't want the points. But, you know, if I can help you giving you 5 bucks off, why not? You want tips? Ask me. I'm there. And I'll let you know, this sale's coming. As in, you're going to get things for $0.30 cents and $0.80. Cents. There's another sale coming. Don't. Don't just, don't bite the jump right now. Wait about, I think it's probably going to be a week or two maybe before. I don't know. I know that I have access to the sale. But I own, there's only like 30 some things there that are on sale right now. And I know when these things come on sale, there's, there's a lot of other things as well that are in there that aren't regular stock that become on sale. So just wait. Let's get into this stuff. So this is one of the things that my sister was, was looking for. She wanted a good primer. And well, I had points. So this was free. And I did just text her to let her know what was going on. And then I'm going to open them here. Just in case there's somebody else besides her watching, all right? And I know, look, I have too much. Oh, I live for, I live for highlight. I'm sorry. And I'm, I'm learning the settings on this camera, and I've obviously not picked the right ones, but editing can do big in that. So, this is the face primer. Let's see if you can see it. It's a tone adjusting one. I don't know if she has a problem with tone adjusting or not. Either way, it's not going to hurt anything. And this one's pretty moisturizing. Back to what we're trying to do. So she needed a face primer or she said she was looking for a good face primer that was hydrating. And she's mentioned before that she has bought e.l.f. primers and they smelled funny. So let's just test out a little bit of it. 
to see. Oh, it's really green. Can you see how green it is? But that doesn't mean it's gonna come out green in your face though. Oh my gosh. That blurs out imperfections. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on this, but I will take a picture with my camera. You can really see where I put it on my hand. And it doesn't smell like anything. Good, she didn't want something that smelled funny. It doesn't smell like anything, but I'm jealous because this is amazing. Um, as a test though, I'm gonna try my other tone one that I usually do next to it. And then the pour one next to it. And I'll take a picture and insert it here. These are the two colors. I already had this one before. I liked it, so I had no problem recommending this one. So before we swatch the color this one, we're gonna swatch the color that I already had. And for me, it works great. You just draw it on, it's like a pen. You draw it on and you have to leave it. You don't do anything, because it has to dry. Okay, so that's a little annoying. It takes you like a minute, whatever. However, this is $2. For $2, I can wait three seconds for it to dry. That's my opinion. This is the color she's getting. And yeah, that looks like her. I'm just gonna like it. So I put them close up. I think you can see them. So that's the stain. So yeah, it stains the underneath of your lip. So there's always a color. So when your gloss or whatever wears off, there's still a color behind there and you know, and it's it's not even coming off which is the point the next thing in here this is what I was looking for and um, it's a brown pencil the one with the spoolie so this was two dollars now let's explain why I got this one <clears throat> an ipsy from sugar cosmetics and it's I love it for my brows it's the best thing ever it's got a little tractable pen and a spoolie. It works great. But if I want to rebuy it, it's something like $16. Well, I don't have that kind of money. I mean, I will. If I wouldn't have a choice, I guess I would. But however, I'm pretty sure this elf one's going to do the exact same thing. So if I can get out of the packaging. Because everything's like child proof. So, this is the elf one. It's a spoolie at one end. And a brow pencil on the other end. Now, okay, it's not the same shape. This one's pointy and it's gonna wear down. So what? You know what? I can live with that. Because this is $2 not on sale yet, okay? It's probably gonna be like... 30 or 80 cents when the sale comes along, by the way. Or you can buy a pack of three for $7. I might go there later. So, 16, two? I'm gonna go with two. Um, let's just see if it's the same. Oh, I like it. It's not like super, super soft, so that's good. I was kinda scared it was gonna be like really soft and run in. I have the color taupe. And this one is Taupe Tom. I don't know why Tom has anything to do with anything, but let's just do the color. Oh, you know what? I'm going to like the e.l.f. more because I won't have to rub so much on my face to get the colors off. So I just said that the e.l.f. isn't like super smudgy. However, this line is the e.l.f. This top line is Sugar Cosmetics, and I had just... I had to rub a lot more of the sugar cosmetics to get the color on. So, I'm pretty sure. Like, I know myself, I'm gonna like Elf better than this. Two bucks, yes, win, win, win. Next thing, another lip tint. Something else she was looking for. I, well, she just wanted tints in general. So I already have a lip tint from Elf of the same kind, different color. 
This one's a little bit too orange. However, I bought this one on the flash sale, you know, when the, my first order came through where it was like 30 or 80 cents. And this one's like, I don't know, two, four, whatever. Um, it's a little bit too orangey. But I do like it. And when I put a good topper on top, it fixes the whole thing. So I really don't care. I still use it. So I guess we'll swatch this one to see the staying power of it as well. So you can tell, like, it's really orange. Um, so it is, like, really, really liquid, kind of. And that's okay. Because the pigment, it's, it's not supposed to be a gloss. It's just supposed to leave the pigment behind. So this is the new one that we're going to swipe here. And I think it's called, yeah, it's Dewy Berry. Oh, this one's pretty. Again, this is another one of my sister's colors. Her color is like light pinkish purple vibe. Or at least that's what she likes to wear. I don't know what suits people or not, but that's what she likes to wear. So this is the one I had before, the orange one. That is called... It's called Red Orange Wash. <laughs> Should have known better it was going to be orange, huh? This one's Dewy Berry. So Dewy Berry Red Orange Wash. Let's leave them for about 30 seconds. Again, same thing as the other one. You kind of have to, you kind of have to like leave them to set and dry before you do anything. And again, the fact that it's not a bazillion dollars is cool with me. All right. The only thing I have to say to... All the other cosmetics companies in the world, since I buy stuff at Winners, TJ Maxx, all that kind of stuff, you know, same company that keep getting stuff stolen. Um, contact Elf to try to find out how to get pretty much childproof packaging because it takes me so long to get things out. And that's kind of a good thing. People won't steal. Um, but yeah, this is a beautiful color. It was really the color she was looking for and um i'm not a jerk so i can give it to her oh yeah this is what she wants it's okay I'll give it to her. Yeah. it's this beautiful purple color yeah so now you get an extra one because i love you so the rest of this stuff is mine so this one Stardust glitter and this one's in pink opal. So I'll rip this one out. I don't care. I already have one, alright? And I have it in seafoam green. And this is pink opal. I really like it. A little line of glitter. Obviously, you know, I love glitter. I mean, does that surprise anybody? Okay, if you're surprised that I love glitter, then this must be your first time tuning in. <laughs> Um, and if it is, welcome. Keep looking at stuff. It's not just makeup. There's tips and tricks and all sorts of other stuff on here. Uh, and, and rants and stuff. So, oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this. That's, oh, I love this. All right, I'm going to show you the difference. In the bottles, they look almost the same. All right. I wiggled. I'm like a carnival. So that's the seafoam green, the one that I had before. And the one on top of it is the new one. It's opal. It's kind of like a pink pearlescent. All right, I'm back. And oh my, I'm sort of kind of in love. I can feel it tingling. So it's doing the plumping effect. However, it's a teeny weeny bit sticky. But I can live with that. Because it looks great. Totally glitter. Yeah, I love for glitter. I mean, I'm sorry. It's my life. The only the only thing that I'm, I'm not, like, cool, cool about is the applicator. It's a brush. Now, the idea is great because you put it where you want it and it's very precise. But if you can already tell, like, the brush bristles are kind of like, you know, see? They're not sticking together. But it was $2. Am I going to complain? <laughs> no. 
No. Nope, nope, nope. Guess what? There's another limb tint in here for her that I forgot or couldn't see or I don't know. I've never owned any of these. It's in a pot. Lip balm tint. So let's see if this is any good. Again, this stuff child proofs, man. Great. That's actually a good thing. I'm not complaining. Because you know how annoying it is when you you find something really awesome at, you know, Winners, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, TJ, whatever, com whatever. It's all the same company. And you find it, you open the box, and there's nothing in it. And sometimes you don't look in the box, and you buy it, and you get home, and there's nothing there. So, it's a bomb. And I'm not going to put my fingers in it, because it's for her. But, it smells great. Okay, enough talking about this. It's glitter. I like it. And it has melted. Mmm. I have this same kind of concept of a palette in corrective concealer stuff. So I'm familiar. But I'm not going to touch it. Because if you look at it, you can... I don't use these brushes. I don't know if you can see the water beads. Oh well, you know, let's just see if this all works. So, it's super creamy and pigmented. Oh, I love it. So, I'm going to tell you the story while I swatch these of why I wanted this. So again, Ipsy sent me this highlight. One side was creamy, the other side was not. And I loved it. I, I really did. And I was looking for a replacement because this is what's left of it i mean i really really liked it i really did the last order that i got from elf they sent me this highlighter stick that i adore again it was kind of like fixing that problem so I'm put a lot of that there however then you know I mean, I've been looking at these for a while, obviously. Decided to go for it, and I'm not regretting it. So, I don't know if you can see. But I'm a contortionist today. That's not a word. I'm a contortionist today. Hmm, that could be fun. So, these are the shimmers the, that they get. And yeah, I'm going over my lip stain things. So they all have little tiny little bit hues in them and then I don't know I can't turn enough but that is the highlight stick. Am I happy? Extremely because you can see that I have too much highlight on because I just love this stuff. I'm not complaining. All right so we're at the end of everything so now we're into the gift part. The gift part, I kind of wish that you could, like, pick. I mean, I get why you can't, but... Or that they would be more specific to what the gifts are. It was just a picture, and I did think that this bronzer palette was an illumination palette. Which I love. I, I have one. I also have an extra. I got an extra one as a gift. I, I use these illumination palettes. Don't think the colors are picked up great. But, yeah, they're there. They are really, really nice. So this one is a shimmery bronzing color. This one's more, okay, I don't know what cool warm undertones are yet. I haven't figured that out. But this one's more like a mahogany type. It's kind of pulling into like, um, I don't know. Mahogany is the only color that comes to mind. This one's more brown. These two are close in color, except this one's really, really sparkly and this one's not and this one again is matte so these two are matte and I don't know she might like this I don't know I will ask her and she will get to pick and maybe she will get both I don't know I am not sponsored by elf I just buy a lot of their stuff why because I'm not rich and their stuff works very well again there's hits and misses for every single brand in the world but um it's not cheap it's affordable. All right, enough of that. So 
So yeah, I, I knew what these are. Here's the awesome trip about them. Before I even swatch her collar, let me explain. So they're just twist up, you know. Now this one, you know, I, I've worn, it's, it's, it's black. This is the trick. You pull out the bottom part and there is your sharpener. Isn't that neat? It's totally awesome. The sharpener, I mean, it's built in. That's kind of cool, right? So, so for busy people on the run, you know, like her, she got kids, or if you're a career woman, or you get, you know, you're just busy, it's kind of throw it in your purse kind of thing. So this is the color that it is there. So it doesn't quite match the pink, but let's just see what color. Ooh, she's gonna like this. She's gonna like this. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I got her lots of cool stuff. So this is the color that it comes out to be. And, and let's just add a little bit of that um, lip tint that I got earlier that I said that was like right up her alley. So you can maybe pull up more. There's too many swatches on my hand. So this is the color from earlier, the lip tint that I'm telling you is right up her alley. And this is the stick, the matte lipstick. She's going to love all of this. And I'm super happy. So, all of this. Yep. All that. Mm -hmm. All of that. $28. And there was no customs. So all you people out there, yes, sometimes when you're in Canada and you order from else, you get customs. I've read the CBSA, which is Canada Border Patrol Services or whatever. Anything over $20 can be subject to duties. Sometimes you are, sometimes you aren't. In this case, I wasn't. Sometimes I usually do. Sometimes you don't. Not the point. All right, we're all over. I've talked way too long. I'm gonna go edit all this stuff. And um, yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah.